Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this mini album, okay, that I made with cards and envelopes. And I use these cards and envelopes from Michaels. And as you can see right here, um, the cards are five by six and a half inches. And the envelopes are five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Now we are going to make the cover. And for the cover, I cut chipboard and I cut two pieces of seven and three quarters by six and one quarter, okay? Two, and this is going to be the spine and it's two inches by seven and three quarters, okay? So we are going to use this one for the cover and we will need four sheets of cardstock that are eight and a half by 11. If you um, have a big piece of cardstock, it's fine. You are going to put a paper like this, okay? And you can overlap one half of an inch in the center, okay? You have to glue that part. Then you are going to put the spine first in the center, then leave one quarter of an inch right here gap and then we are going to wrap this part for the cover For the binding, uh, we are going to use the Stack the Deck from Laura Denison. I use cardstock for this one, and you're going to cut the first one at two and a quarter by seven and a quarter, okay? So it's two and a quarter by seven and a quarter. The second one is two and three quarters, right here, by seven and a quarter. And the last one is three and one quarter by seven and one quarter. Now, we are going to score lines, okay? And right here, you will score at one, okay? Then one and a quarter, then at two and two and one quarter. And we are going to fold just the first and last, okay? Right here. We are not going to fold this one, okay? In the center right here, no. Just the first and last. Now, in the second one, we are going to score at one, one and a quarter, one and a half, and one and three quarters, okay? And same, we are going to fold only the first and last. So we are going to fold the first and last, and we are going to have it like this, okay? And for the last one, we are going to score at one and one and one quarter. Okay. So it will be 
like this. Now we are going to cut from the line to the outside a little bit, okay? Not too much. Now you have this one folded. You're going to put glue or tape and you are going to glue this one, okay? on the next hinge right here and the lines are already there so you just have to put in the center okay you are going to put in the center and it will look like this okay and this one is going to be glued right here do you see the lines right there okay so you are going to glue this one just right in the center of the lines and it will look like this. Now I have it ready. You see, this is the um, binding hinge, okay? And everything is in the center right here. So it's ready to put the pages, okay? And for the pages, we are going to use the envelopes right here. So you are going to glue first right here, okay? all around and close it very well okay and then on this side right here you are going to cut very very slightly just to make an opening on the envelope and we need six of these okay they are going to be the six pages for this mini album so they are going to look like this see this one is closed and right here is the opening and here will go our big mats okay so now that we have six pages cut and open we are going to glue them right here i'm going to put that cover away because we don't need it until the end okay we are going to glue this one all of them we are going to glue them right here okay on top of this um right side okay you are going to glue just leaving one eighth of an inch don't don't put it too close to the line okay it had to be like one eighth of an inch apart okay like about this so all the pages are going to be on this side so i'm going to glue them and i'll be right back now i have all the pages glued and as you can see right here okay you have the base of the mini album and they are glue on the side leaving one eighth of an inch so they're going to be very easy to move okay and all the openings are up here on the top okay so now for the first one for the first page we are going to make this and you just need to add one more envelope to make this opening okay so we are going to get one envelope and we are going to glue this one right here on the first page okay right here so you glue this one here and it will go the first opening okay the first flap have the first flap okay now in the next page we are going to make this one okay these two and for that you're going to cut two envelopes okay you are going to measure at two and a half two and a half and cut so you will have two envelopes that look like this okay for example this one right here i cut a two and a half and I have these two pieces and I'm going to glue this one on top right here. See? And then this one I'm going to glue on top. You have to align with this edge, okay? So you are going to glue right here. And don't worry if you have, like for example, I have extra glue here. Uh, when I put the paper, it's going to cover everything, okay? And another tip is that when you glue this one, don't glue all the way to the edge. 
leave like about one eighth of an inch so when you open the pocket it expands a little bit okay same with this one okay so i'm gonna show you right now for one of them already glued it, that part and as you can see I glued all the way to the edge right here and I was telling you about the eight of an inch because when you put the tags right here this pocket can expand a little bit same with this one okay so it, it doesn't rip the page okay so it, it can create more room for all the tags that you're going to put in there see now my page is ready and we are going to um, go to the next one which is this one right here that has the flaps that open but we are going to skip these pages because we need to put the pattern paper first okay so we are going to the next page which is this one and for this one you need one envelope and this is what you're going to do you're going to measure two and a half inches right here and make a mark and then right here on the other side two and a half inches right here make a mark and you will have a piece that is like this okay from one envelope okay see two and a half two and a half and then cut okay so you will have this one the envelope and we are going to put this way one right here and the other one right here okay so we have we will have these two pockets and this is how it's going to look okay see you have the pocket right here and the other pocket right here now for the next page we are going to make this one that opens to one side and then opens to this one but before that we need to put a pattern paper so we are skipping this page and we are going to the next one um, we are going to do the next which are pockets right here and for these pockets right here okay you glue the flap glue this flap okay very well and then you're going to cut a two and a half then turn and cut the two and a half okay so you have two pockets that are exactly the same okay? so it will look like this and we are going to glue one pocket right here and the other one right here now i glue the pockets on the sides okay and we are going to the next page which is this one right here and this one is another envelope like at the beginning that I glue right here so this one opens completely now I glue right here the envelope and this is the flap of the envelope and I match the edge right here okay that's the most important thing that you match this one so you have the opening for the big mat and here is the flap that opens okay now we're going to glue these envelopes right here for the flap that opens okay in both sides of the cover okay and this one it's going to be on this side and then you are going to glue this envelope right here okay so you have another flap okay like this see and now we are going to do the same thing for the other side okay. so you have two envelopes right here on the cover okay. now, as you can see this one is almost ready the pages some of the pages are done and i'm going to put pattern paper then i'm going to continue with the ones that we didn't do it because it needs to be covered first 
And many people ask me, um, how do you put the pattern paper, how, the measurement, they want the measurement for each part up here. For example, this one is five and one quarter by seven and a quarter. So I have to cut the pattern paper at five by seven. I just take one quarter of an inch less. So then at the end, you will have one eighth of an inch here and one eighth of an inch here. So, and right here, you have to cut like at least half of an inch or three quarters of an inch so you can slide it underneath, okay? Don't cut exactly this part. You have to cut a little bit bigger so you can slide it inside. Same up here, okay? This measurement plus half of an inch so you can slide it and glue inside, okay? So you can have something like this. See, I added up here one inch bigger so it looks very nice. See, right here too. So that's how you how to cut the paper for that. Okay, then um, for this one, I'm going to do after I put the pattern paper. For this, I cut the bigger size. For example, this one is going to be five and I measure right here from here and I added half of an inch. For example, this one is about five. I'm going to add five and a half. Okay, so I cut this one five by five and a half and then I glue, I slide this part up here. See, I slide it and glue in the back. And for this part up here, you have to cut the biggest part. Then I used to slide the paper, the pattern paper, okay, and put it all the way in. And then I just make a mark, make a mark up here at the end, and I cut my pattern paper. And then when I put it up here, I just slide a little bit down, and I see if it's at the same level up here at the end. I just make a mark and cut at the bottom so it can have like this nice measurement, okay? So that's how I cut the paper for this. Then uh, for this one, it's going to be easy. These are cards. That's why we need to wait until we put the pattern paper in the back. And right here, remember that you need to cut bigger and slide it inside, okay? Then, um, yeah, right here is like one quarter of an inch less. So I'm going to cut the paper and glue in the whole album and I'll be right back. Is the cover and it's done. As you can see, I um, put it straight right here. And then in the other side, Okay, you have to make this gusset before you glue the paper and this one had to be inside. Okay, you can use a um, ball tool like this one to do that. Okay, press the paper and then glue. So same on both sides. And then I cover right here the flap. And I forgot to put magnet right here, but I'm going to put something that closes, okay? So you can use a Velcro magnet or something, but I'm going to do that in a different way. And then I put up here two marks. So that's where I'm going to sit the album. And as you can see, it's only one quarter of an inch, so you cannot put big embellishments okay just uh, remember that because you don't want your album way to open like this right um it's going to hold a lot of pictures and if you can add just a few embellishments it's going to be fine now i'm going to show you um right here in this page i didn't put a paper because i'm going to show you how to put the magnets okay and i'll do that right now Okay, right here I have two magnets, okay? And I'm using these little ones, these little ones from AliExpress. I'm going to put the link of these magnets in the description box. So I'm going to, let me see, you have to put them together and then separate them this way. And I'm going to start right here, okay? Like in the center, leave like about um, three quarters of an inch 
and then you're going to put a double-sided tape on top okay then you put the other piece of double-sided tape okay on top but upside down see the sticky thing is on top you put it like this and you just drop the magnet and it will just um, attach to the other one then you are going to close this one okay and press on the sides and then you have the other magnet on the other side see now you have the pages that closes open and closes with magnet and i have the pages cover and as you can see it has the magnet see and then i cover this one as i show you and as you can see you barely can notice that these are envelopes and then i'm going to make this one with you okay this is the pocket and this one opens and have more room and i made this one because the paper was uh, very nice and i just cut a pocket and i am going to have a, an, an extra pocket right here but you can do anything okay on each page and for this one we are going to use a card okay this is the card of the set and this one is five by six and a half okay and we are going to put it this way okay the five is going to be down and we are going to cut at five and a half okay so we need a piece that is five and a half by five okay and this one is the card that opens at the bottom okay so now we are going to score half of an inch right here on each side okay in both sides so after that we are going to cut just one side right here and this one is going to be folded so we can have the hinge right here for the pocket okay and we will need a scrap of paper that is one inch by four and a half and we are going to score at half of an inch so let's do this one first it will look like this when you cut the part right here okay half of an inch and half of an inch on the top so this one can be folded to the back to make the pocket okay and we are going to add this piece okay right here okay and now we are going to cut the corners so it can be folded we are going to cut the corners right here okay and for this one we are going to cut like this and we are going to glue this one right here first and now we are going to glue this one right here okay we need to put tape again and we glue this one right here okay okay and now i'm going to put magnets right here so it can be closed okay like this like about there and I'm going to put the other one see this one upside down okay and you just throw the magnet and now it's tape on the other side see and now you can cover with paper this this and this okay like i did it's done and as you can see it had a pocket and this one opens okay so now we have the next page these two pockets 
and the next page is going to be this one that opens to one side and then opens to the other side and I put magnets see now for this one we're going to use a card okay this card is five by six and a half so we are going to open the card okay and we are going to cut half of an inch okay cut half of an inch so you will have one card that looks like this see one side is smaller than the other one okay now you're going to score okay this half of an inch you're going to score okay like this score and you're going to fall to the back okay so you have a card or that is the same size but you will have this one okay so we are going to attach this one to the book and now for this side this one is going to be on the on the right side okay so it can open like this and like this okay so you attach this flap on the right side and for this side you are going to glue this one on the left side okay so you're going to glue like this and you open this way and you're going to open this way okay see so you can open these two pages and you can open right here and right here now for this part we are going to cut diagonally right here okay we cut these two and we are going to attach this one right here okay so I'm going to put some tape and as I said we are going to attach this one on the left side okay on that on this side so we are going to put in the center of the page see and now you can press and it will look like this okay and now before we put the papers we are going to put magnets okay now this one is done as you can see it opens to both sides then in the next page we have these two um, pockets and the last one opens like this and like this right so we have a lot of room for pictures and these are great for four by six pictures okay so now we can add some of the the cards these are regular cards and it was five by six and a half and the perfect mat for a four by six picture is four and a half by six and a half so six and a half was already um, the size of the card but I cut up here at four and a half okay so we're going to use this one for some of the pockets let's begin right here I'm going to put this card so it has room for four regular pictures okay for four by sixes and it's going to be one up here on the top then it's going to be not in these ones there there are smaller scar on top they are going to be right here too so you need to to make six cars with this size okay then and it's going to be two more right here so we put a card here and another card here see now you will need six regular cards okay no cutting nothing for the big pockets okay on each page right here but because this card is the same size as the envelope i added as you can see right here i added this piece so you can pull 
Now this is how your mini album is going to look with all the pages and tags, okay? Um, you can make any decoration right here. If you want, you can add another pocket. You can add uh, frames like I did up here. I add one of these envelopes that I made and then I cut that die cut and I put it up here for a picture that goes underneath. So it's up to you how you can decorate this album, but uh, you, you even can put something to pull right here okay and see that there is another page and this is how i made my um big tags okay so it's uh the one and a half inch piece of paper that i added at the end and it will look like this see you glue it on the second part of the card okay so it looks much better and you can pull from there see so that's how it looks with the tags. Now you can decorate the borders. In this one, I added um, lace and these rhinestones. So right here, I added this envelope, see? And I glue it to the back and I added these small tags, see? And for example right here in mine i made these two pockets because the paper was like with this design and i just fuzzy cut and made the pockets okay so then right here you can decorate in different ways i just put an embellishment and a tag but you can put another pocket or something then this one you can um make any decoration like for example right here I just uh, decorate on top but I can put a frame up here and put the pictures and even inside you can put a, another pocket or something okay then right here you can decorate on the side and put some um, embellishments in the center I have a tag up here from the paper pad and I can glue it up here. So you can get something from your paper pad or embellishments and add it to your book. Then um, this one has another um, flap and this one too. Okay, so right here, I used an envelope and I just fold it and I have two pockets. Okay, I'm going to see if I want to do the same thing or a different thing. And yeah, that would be all. So I'm going to show you this book finish in another video because embellishing takes a lot of time. And I need to grab my stuff and see what I'm going to do with this mini album. So thank you very much for watching my videos, for your likes, your comments, and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.